How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Lead Therapy and I really appreciate you taking your time tuning into my video. We all know that California has some of the strictest gun control laws in the country. Yet in the past couple of months they've had numerous mass shootings. So what are the politicians in LA County going to do? They're going to enact more gun control. In the wake of the mass shooting in Monterey Park, the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors on Tuesday, February 7th, adopted two new gun control regulations. One that bans the sale of large caliber handguns and ammunition, and one that prohibits people from carrying guns in county parks, plazas, beaches, and buildings, with exceptions for law enforcement, active military, and others. The two new ordinances only affect unincorporated areas of Los Angeles County, such as East Los Angeles, Rowland Heights, Hacienda Heights, Valinda, East San Gabriel, City Terrace, Agua Dulce, Topanga, West Whittier, and many other communities representing about 1.1 million of the county's 10.2 million population. First District Supervisor Hilda Solis said there has been 59 mass shootings in the U.S. since the starting of the new year. That amounts to two mass shootings in a day. Let's let that sink in, she said, during the remarks at a press conference on the steps of the Hall of Administration. This series of mass shootings are plaguing our society like a disease that we need a vaccine to remedy this disease and our addiction to guns, said new Monterey Park Mayor Jose Sanchez at the press event. In addition to the two ordinances, including a ban on 50 caliber handguns and the one half inch bullets that they fire, the board adopted motions to pursue several other proposed gun control measures. But those motions require more study and could face constitutional hurdles related to the Second Amendment. In a recent U.S. Supreme Court case, the board noted the proposed ordinances are scheduled to come back to the board in 90 days after getting a legal review of their constitutionality from the Office of County Council. Among those proposed, the board directed the county's Department of Regional Planning to draw up new zoning restrictions that would require gun stores to operate at least a thousand feet away from schools, parks, or daycare centers, or other gun shops creating child safety zones. The board also said it wants to see new laws focused on gun store owners, including banning minors from entering gun stores, maintaining security cameras, keeping a fingerprint inventory of all customers, and providing a database of all gun purchases to law enforcement. The board is also looking into regulations that require all gun owners to safely store firearms in a locked container or disable it with a trigger lock to prevent someone from accidentally getting shot. Also, the board is looking into a mandate that all gun owners obtain liability insurance. The board will also send a letter to Senator Dianne Feinstein in support of her bill to ban assault weapons. If the ban is not passed in Washington, the board said it supports a separate bill to raise the age to purchase such weapons from 18 to 21. It's very obvious what they're trying to do, and it's not trying to stop mass shootings or crime. It's them continuing to add more and more restrictions on our Second Amendment rights so they can get to the ultimate goal to stop people from owning guns completely. I would really like to hear your thoughts about the story in the comment section down below. And if you guys would help the channel out and help it grow, you could do so by liking, sharing, and subscribing and hitting those post notifications. I would be very grateful and I hope to see you guys in the next video.